What is up everybody, my name is Whitefire and welcome back to the Afterlife SMP server. Now, to start off this episode, I'm gonna be showing you guys that thing. It had a little, um, blue box around it before, and on the back it said, uh, I got bored, signed Khan. Uh, so apparently this is what happens when Khan gets bored. <laughs> it's, it's a tiny bit creepy, Khan. It's just, just a tiny bit creepy. Those, those eyes look like they're staring into my soul right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, actually a pretty cool little prank by Con. Very mini prank, but I don't know. I might leave it up for a little bit. Uh, I'll probably take it down at some point, though. Uh, it's a little out of place. If it wasn't so out of place, I'd probably leave it where it is. For instance, if it was in the middle of, the, of this water, I might leave it, actually. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, Con, for that. It was a nice little surprise when I got on... Uh, about, I don't even know how long ago it was now. Probably about a week by now. Not even a week. Mm, what week? I, I don't know. Um, but actually in today's episode, as you see over there, I've cleared a lot of space. Um, because we're actually going to be making, or starting on the farm area. This over here is going to be our farm area. Uh, I might cut this back some over here actually. I might do a little bit of a... Probably not a time lapse of that, but a time lapse of something. I really wish I had a second account. That'd be really cool. <laughs> um, but what I'm thinking, guys, is that we're gonna have some sort of road that comes up from over. Part of me kind of feels like we need to move this bridge over to here, <laughs> but I guess the bridge is fine where it is. Uh, the bridge, little pathway coming up this way, and coming across over here. Opening up to a large field of reeds, which is exactly what we're going to be doing today. A uh, large field of reeds on either side. Uh, and then I what I was thinking is that the road would lead up to here. And over here we'd have uh, cylinders. And these cylinders would have um, our crop farms in them. So wheat, carrots, potatoes. If there's any more, uh, let me know. I think that's it though. Um... But yeah, that's kind of the plan for this area. Nothing too major, I don't think. It's going to take a little while, but nothing too complex. Now, the the crop, the crop farms over here are going to be both above ground and below ground. Uh, they'll extend below ground, but they'll reach high above, uh, above ground. Uh, little cylinder areas fitting in the same design as we have over here. Uh, probably gonna use glass and stone brick is probably what I'm gonna do. I might add some acacia in there if I can. Uh, but we're actually gonna get started on the road. Let's go get some materials. Actually, I'll probably do that off camera. Uh, cause you guys already know the road design that I have. It just kinda seems pointless to do it on camera. Uh, and then I'll see you guys in the time lapse for the, uh, the reed farm.
Alright guys, so I hope you all enjoyed the little time lapse of this. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to uh, put a voice over it or if I'm just going to do music or something like that. Um, but this turned out pretty well, I think. I have a few ideas for other stuff I want to do here later on in the episode. Um, but I think it turned out pretty alright. It's not too bad, guys. Not bad at all. Uh, there's still a lot of stuff I want to do back here, for instance. And with maybe the road and other places and whatnot. Um, but before we get into that, uh, I want to go over to the barn because I made a change with the sheep pen. I was noticing that the grass underneath of the sheep, whenever, actually the, the lack of grass underneath, underneath of them, um, it still kind of is, but I decided to put the grass underneath of the fences right there. As you see, it's growing out now, which is pretty good, I think, um, definitely helps out. Um, but now that that's solved, um, I want to work on this area over here because what I have over here, I have lily pads and I have jack-o'-lanterns for two reasons. Well, the jack-o'-lanterns we need for lighting for this area. There's no other way to light it other than just putting jack-o'-lanterns like that. And the lily pads, I was thinking of doing something like that. Just kind of placing it. Oh, okay. Uh, just kind of placing it down, uh, that way whenever we go to harvest this, because yes, this will be harvestable. It's not just going to be for looks, I will harvest this occasionally. Um, uh, whenever we do that, um, it won't look too bad, hopefully. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about while we were doing this, though, we're not going to do this for too long. Uh, one thing I did want to talk about, though, is, uh, kind of, uh, I don't, really know, I don't really know how to put this. I'm going to be posting a video tomorrow um, about kind of my schedule because I feel like I've been bouncing back and forth with a schedule and I want to put something firm down that or something solid, some sort of solid schedule down. Um, so I'm going to be posting a video tomorrow, hopefully. Oh my gosh. Okay, please don't do that. <laughs> Uh, I'll probably be posting a video tomorrow about a schedule and whatnot. Um, that way you guys get more clarification on stuff about what, like, what exactly my schedule is going to be. Because uh, as a Let's Play YouTuber, for me, I know some people don't really agree with schedules. But for me, a schedule makes sense. It keeps me motivated to do videos. It keeps me on track. That way I don't get uh, sidetracked with other things. I'm like, oh, you know, I can just record a video tomorrow and upload it some other day. No, that way a schedule keeps me on track, keeps me organized, keeps me going. Um, so that's kind of why I'm doing that. Another thing I want to mention um, is you may frequently hear background noise. Um, the problem with that I've found with recording videos in my room, in my bedroom at my house, is that um there is this weird creaking noise that goes on with like the ceiling of my um room it's i think it's something to do with the attic since i'm on the second level and then the attic's right above me um but it's it's very annoying and i am someone who does not, not like having background noise in my videos like any at all or as little as i can have uh and so oftentimes I'll just scrap entire recordings uh, because the creaking noise is really, really loud. It's not subtle. I mean, you still may hear it in this clip. It, you may hear a subtle ticking noise or a subtle like uh, tapping noise. That's what it is. Um, and I don't honest, gosh darn it. <laughs> I don't honestly know what to do about it. I, I don't know if there is, okay, Lily Pad, you're really annoying. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about it. I don't know if there's anything I can do about it. Okay, that, that, that is really, that is really annoying. Okay, that's much better. Oh, well, it's nighttime. Let's go sleep. Um, it's, if it, and if it's annoying to me, it's probably annoying to you guys too. Um, so that's kind of an issue when it comes to recording. Now, I used to record when I first started my channel, I recorded down in like a, a, I want to say a public, but a place where all of my family usually has computers and stuff, or did used to have computers. It was like our computer room kind of place. Um, 
but that easily became a problem because it was a public place. It was a place where all my family could just easily walk in. Um, and that's not great for recording. So I had to move all my stuff up here. I think I moved it here. It wasn't too long after I started YouTube. Probably sometime in January is my guess. Um, I don't exactly remember, but um, I could move back down there. But like I said, the privacy issues. Uh, and then I'm kind of stuck up here with this stupid creaking noise, which I just heard again. And it's really, really annoying um, for me. I don't know how annoying it really comes out on the videos, but for me, it happens so often, especially in the winter. It happens so often. I really, I really want just my own little place to do this stuff, but I just, I, I can't have my own place. Um, and it's, it's not fun, guys. It's, it's not fun at all. Um, so if you hear background noise, even if, like, right now you probably just heard a little ticking noise. Uh, I hope it's not too loud. It, I don't know what to do, basically. I don't know what to do about it. There isn't really anything I can do. And I'm very limited on when I can record. Um, so I don't have many options. Uh, this video may come in lesser quality. I don't know. At this point, I like I said, I just, I just don't know what to do about it. Uh, I don't think I have any options at all. It's really annoying. It's really uh, not fun. Um, so if you guys, like I said, if you guys do hear any background noise, please... Uh, excuse it as best as you can. I'll try to get it out, but I don't. I don't think I'll die. You can do much about it. It's really loud. It blends in with with my voice. Uh, there's not much I can really do about it. Wow, this is going pretty good actually. Um, yeah, we'll just we'll finish this out real fast, and then we'll end off the episode. So yeah, like I said, if you guys hear it, please excuse it. I'll try my best not to. Um, have it in too many clips but like i said there really isn't anything i can do i don't have any other options of places to record I, I'm, I'm stuck i don't have anything else to do well i i don't have any any other options basically so anyways guys that's gonna do it for today's episode hope y'all did enjoy we got a lot done actually uh, a lot fi uh visually done and whatnot uh, but yeah guys thank y'all so much for watching this episode on the afterlife smp server if you did enjoy Go ahead, smash that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're new and or are not already subscribed. Anyways, guys, take care, and I'll see you later.